Give you a live look down Market Street tonight. This will soon be home to St. Louis's Major League Soccer team, but the stadium is not the only change that's popping in so many areas of the city. You see cranes like here in the hill and you see new growth. St. Louis is on track for a new era, but the city is making it clear tonight. If you want in, you're going to have to pay to play. News Force Kim St. Ange is live explaining how that will benefit everyone. Kim. Corey, so right now I'm at the intersection of Lindell and Taylor in the Central West End, and this right here is exactly what we're talking about. A developer is waiting from the city to get the green light to bulldoze this building. This, by the way, is a nonprofit called Optimus International, and it has been right here at this intersection since the early 1960s. I think it's a win-win. His aging building may soon give way to this, a seven-story, 150-unit apartment building. I think it's a development opportunity of the Central West End to build a beautiful building. Benny Ellerby is the executive director for the nonprofit Optimus International, which occupies prime real estate in the Central West End. We've had different developers approach us. Six months ago, Lux Living offered a deal he couldn't refuse. The community gets a, uh, a lovely new addition. And, and we get to downsize. Uh, Technology has allowed us to do things that we never dreamed of on uh, maybe 10 years ago. News 4 is finding these development deals are happening more and more in the core of the city. Apartments are under construction just down the street at West Pine Boulevard in Sarah. More apartments are being built on the Cleed. And this futuristic looking building off Kings Highway is still leasing luxury apartments. If we're making an investment into your business, we want to make sure that that business is also making a, a compounding return on social impact in our community at large. That's the St. Louis Development Corporation's new executive director, Neil Richardson. He wants developers who receive tax incentives from the city to give back, with the foundry being the poster child. The foundry will get a tax break on its next phase in exchange for giving back $1.8 million to go toward creating affordable housing in North St. Louis. It's to ensure that the development that's happening on South City and South of Delmore actually benefits those communities north of Delmar. That money will be used to do everything from demolish dilapidated buildings in North City, rehab others, or incentivize grocery stores to build in food deserts. I think it's a good idea. Um, definitely, you know, spreading the wealth around. I think that's a, that's a great way to go. Uh, definitely build up more communities. Again, it is not clear if this building will actually be bulldozed. Keep in mind the developer that wants to build this seven story apartment building here still needs to get the OK from the city before anything can happen. But I was talking to Ellerby, who is the executive director of this nonprofit. He was saying if everything goes as planned, that developer would want to get construction started here as early as this fall. Live tonight in the Central West End, Kim St. Ange, News 4.